Good morning, Bombers. I'm Alex. And I'm Patrick. Welcome to today's segment of Blue Bomber News. Today is Tuesday, October 25th, Day 3. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you do not like your school pictures, Wednesday is the makeup day. You must have your packet of pictures back and turned in to have your retakes done. If you missed the original picture day, today is also the day you will have it taken for a school ID. Attention, ninth grade students who are in interested in attending Carbon Career and Technical Institute, CCTI. There will be a field trip to tour all the shops on Wednesday, November 9th. All students attending the field trip will eat lunch A. We will depart school at approximately 10.50, arrive at CCTI, and take a tour from 11.30 to 12.30. We will return to school at approximately 1.10. If you're interested in attending, please get a permission slip from guidance and return it with a parent signature by November 4th. Any questions, please see Ms. Blyler in guidance. FBLA will be having a fall festival during enrichment A, B, and C on Wednesday. Tickets will be for sale at lunch for $5. You must sign up for one enrichment and pay for a ticket in advance. It will be a day four and you are not allowed to change your lunch. Your ticket will allow you to have a coffee, hot chocolate, and a baked good. We will have candy, games, and the courtyard will be available for outdoor games and face painting. The ASVAB will be given next week on Thursday, November 3rd. It is not only used as a military entrance exam, it also has a career component. It can also be used as a pathway for graduation if you are not proficient on the keystones. Juniors and seniors who are interested can sign up outside the guidance office to take the ASVAB. It can be used as a valuable tool for career exploration and post-secondary planning, including helping you understand how your interests relate to occupations, search for occupations based off your ASVAB results and interests, and identify what you value in the workplace. Any junior or senior student eligible to apply for National Honor Society can pick up their application packet in room B219. Application packets are due back by Monday, October 31st by 2.30 p.m. If you are unsure about your eligibility, please see Mrs. Baumgart in room B219. Attention, junior class. Once you have sold all your meat sticks, get your money to either Mrs. Burke or Mrs. Munis ASAP. The money is due by Friday, October 28th. There will be a Leo Club meeting today at 2.30 in room B217. This meeting is to talk about all of the opportunities to sign up for volunteering in the next coming month. Please plan on attending. Yearbook. There will be a yearbook meeting after school tomorrow, October 26th at 2.45 in Mr. Miller's room, A120. Leo Club members are needed to help pack backpacks from 3 to 4 p.m. tomorrow, October 26th. If any members are interested, please see Mr. Fink or Mrs. Muniz. Film Club. We will meet on Wednesday, October 26th in room A138 after school for its next movie. You won't want to miss this week's selection on our lineup of spooky horror films for our Shocktober finale. The meeting should finish up between 4.30 and 5. Blood Drive. Today in A Enrichment, all students 16 years or older should attend an informational meeting in the auditorium on our upcoming Blood Drive. Palmerton High School used to run Blood Drives twice a year before COVID, and our support really helped people in need. You can get out of class, eat some great snacks and foods, and help others all at the same time. We will rearrange lunches if need be for you to attend the meeting. Again, all students 16 years or older are able to donate blood. See Mr. Knoll if you need to rearrange lunch. Hope to see you all there. Buddies Club members should check Schoology for important information about our upcoming club meeting. The guidance office will be hosting different colleges, universities, and branches of the military in the near future. Anyone interested in attending a visit should stop by the guidance office to sign up for a pass. Currently scheduled visits are DeSales University today, October 25th, and Delaware Valley on October 27th. Anyone interested in attending a visit should stop by the office, the guidance office, to sign up and get a pass. On Thursday, from 4 to 6, 4 to 6 p.m., FBLA will be having a safe trick-or-treat night that is open to the community. It will be $5 per person, and we will be giving out candy to all the children at the decorated doors. We also have crafts and games for the kids. Volunteers are still needed. See Mrs. Palumbo. This week is our Red Ribbon Week, presented by Students Against Destructive Decisions. Each day is themed. We hope to see you all wearing your crazy socks today for Socket to Drugs Day. On Wednesday, October 26th, it's Team Up, to, team up Against Drugs Day. Wear your favorite team jersey or shirt. On Thursday, October 27th, Peace Out to Drugs Day. Wear your tie-dye. On Friday, October 28th, it is Blue and White Day, PHS. We choose to be drug-free. 
Remember, everything worn must comply with the PHS dress code. No hats, sunglasses, or inappropriate clothing or pajamas allowed. Now, let's take a look at today's weather forecast. Today will be a high of 68 degrees, and now here's a look at your extended forecast. Our song of the week is Werewolves of London by Warren Zevin. Happy birthday to Dylan Borger and Bryce Verena. Today's celebrity birthdays are Katy Perry and Dallas Young. Today in history, October 25, 1983, President Ronald Reagan orders Marines to invade Grenada and secure the safety of a thousand American citizens following threats by the nation's Marxist regime. One week later, the Marxist government was overthrown. Thanks for watching and have a great day, bombers.